What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be giving you our five top tips to accelerate your transformation and help you get to the next level going from good to great. These are things you can instantly apply. Let's jump right into it. Number one is you have to be willing to do what it takes to get it done. At the end of the day, wishing and hoping will get you nowhere. You know, if you have a big goal, you have to put in the work to meet that goal. So, you know, you might have to say no to a few things. You might have to work out sometimes when you don't want to. You might have to wake up a little early to get a workout in, but at the end of the day, those who succeed are people that make no compromises and get their stuff done. And number two, put your money where your mouth is. I'm not telling you to go out there and spend thousands a month on your fitness and health. At the end of the day, if you actually look at where your money's going from a monthly perspective, a lot of times I find that those who want great results aren't actually doing the actions or investing the way that they should to get them great results. For example, hundred dollars to fast food every single week, um, bars, clubs, like all these things that aren't bringing them forward but actually taking them backwards. Whereas on the other side of the spectrum, they're spending you know thirty dollars a month on a gym membership. And that's it, nothing else, right? So a couple of my favorite investments over the years have always been different types of workout clothes to kind of make you feel good, to perform good. Um, you know, even a, a fitness coach is absolutely, absolutely probably one of the best investments you can ever make. Every single person we've ever worked with, they've all put their money where their mouth is, they've invested in their health, and they've seen tremendous results. You know, healthy protein snacks, every single month I'll spend about $100 getting some good supplements for my health. Take a look at where you're actually spending your money. In order to go from good to great, you've got to start to invest and it will pay off in the long run. And just adding on, there's a couple other things that I've really invested in over the years that have paid off significantly. Some small pieces of equipment such as booty bands, red resistance band, one of my hypervolts, um, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend going out there and buying one, but a massage gun that's cheaper. These are great investments that have paid off so much down the road to really get me the best results possible. Even through COVID, a lot of our clients just decided to buy a couple like dumbbells, a couple different things. So if you can't go to the gym or don't have access to it, you can still get stuff done at home. These are great tools to really purchase and uh, to ramp up your results. Number three, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Those who really mess up are the people that just say, hey, I'm going to have the most perfect week. I'm going to work out 14 times this week, only eat protein, no, all these things, right? They're burnt out and they don't continue. Just know those that win and get the best results are the people that are consistent. You know, they're consistently putting in the work day in and day out. You know, they're just trying to be a little bit better each day. Perfection isn't necessarily achievable, but you want to aim for it, right? Aim really high and just do your best each day to make that happen. Then again, don't expect it, but just know by doing this consistently, you're going to get those results over time. And next up, really to go from good to great, you've got to dial in the nutrition. You know, you can spend hours a day in the gym, you can take all the tips we've given so far, but at the end of the day, if you're not focusing on what's going into your mouth, into your body, all the food that's being taken in, you are not going to succeed, you know. Unless you start taking steroids, it's it's going to be extremely tough. So a couple of the fundamentals that we're really, really passionate about is the 80-20 principle. You know, we've learned over years of helping so many different people and doing it ourselves that having 80% whole foods, keeping a more flexible diet, giving you a bit more freedom, and then 20% unhealthy or fun foods, this can be 90-10, whatever it is. We found that that's kept everyone on track a lot better than just constantly staying away from all junk food at all, okay? So that there's that. Protein, really making sure you're dialing in the protein, making sure you're getting more than enough water, fiber, um, veggies at every single meal. These are things that are gonna really help you get to the next level and then past that, obviously making sure you're keeping track of your macros and calories, okay? This is huge, you know, I know so many people who are just like spending hours in the gym where they're not paying any attention to this and that's why they haven't gotten that killer transformation, you know? They're eating just as much calories as they're burning a day, so really take this in and you will succeed. We don't stop working, we keep going. It's the biggest thing, here's a bonus tip. It's gonna be days you feel like, 
gonna be days you feel like quitting. It's gonna be days you feel like not wanting to go in the gym. What makes the biggest difference is when you actually do it on the days that you don't want to. When you skip those extra sets, those extra reps, those extra runs, hitting those macros, those are the ones that are gonna count. If you can do it on every day that you feel great, good for you. But what about the days you don't feel great? Number five, uh, from going from good to great, this is something I personally use quite frequently to accelerate my progress. And that's actually keeping quantitative records of whether you're progressing. You know, if in your head you just think you're doing great all the time and you have no way to validate that, you're not really gonna get too far. Whereas if you're taking your measurements, recording your weights, you're always challenging, hey, am I progressing, am I going forward? Am I getting stronger, am I getting bigger, is my waist getting tighter? You know, look at all the data you have available, metrics, you can look at your heart rate, whatever it is you value, and make sure you are progressing on a scale. And if you're not, you need to readdress your nutrition, your training to make sure you are. And if you're stuck right now, you feel like you're not getting great results, once again, First link in the description down below for online coaching. We have an amazing deal going right now. So if you want to go from good to great, have your training, your nutrition, your lifestyle all optimized, we'd love to help you out with that. So first link right there. Smash like. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.